Welcome to Marvelicious Toys. We bring you news and reviews of Marvel toys, statues, and more. Because not all Marvel collections can be bagged and boarded. They're not just toys, they're Marvelicious. Now the next two figures, the final two basic packaged figures, are also quote unquote swap out figures because they're both female? Uh, apparently. And they have the name Fearless Defenders. <laughs> well, Valkyrie was a defender. Right. I mean, there was that new series, Fearless Defenders, and Valkyrie is in it, but Thundra isn't. And here's the wonderful description. With the unbreakable dragon fang sword and a heavy steel chain, these heroines bring evil to its knees. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the first one numerically is Valkyrie, and strangely enough, for a minor character, this is the second time we're reviewing her on Marvelicious Toys. She was way back when Legends started their return in the two packs packed with Hulk. That's right. This is a total new sculpt, though, isn't it? I believe so. Well, what we're dealing with here feels mostly like the She-Hulk buck, but they did do some extra sculpting on her boobs there because that her boob plates feel if you, if you get in there those grooves are actually in there not just painted is it sculpted or is that a part they glued on on top i can't tell yeah i can't tell either it might be an extra part but if it is it's done well but even the rivets on her upper abdomen are, are sculpted on too is that belt sculpted on i think it is versus a lot of times they just have them hanging around the waist yeah it's either sculpted on or glued down I feel like it's, you know what, I can see a little bit of a gap in there, so I'm going to say it's a separate part that's glued down, which is, I'm sure makes you happy, because you hate the way those things flop around on some of the figures. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> if it's meant to be in a certain position, just leave it in it. <laughs> but yeah, this head sculpt seems all new, different hair than we've seen before. So pigtails are kind of weird because they stand out on their own. If you have her looking down, sure, they kind of just hang out all draped over her. But if you have her looking up, they just float. Yeah, I have yet to find a good pose. <laughs> <laughs> that is awful. Her hair is all kinds of bad, though. I mean, I, I guess like they try to make it like messy pigtails, but it just does not work. It's like lumpy and it makes her look like she's got a misshapen head. The braids are good, but the rest of it just is not good. You're right. It looks like her head is very elongated. Yeah, it's like they built it up too far in the back. Yeah, I think they did a better job with it on the last one, actually, with the braids. But And her face here, I don't know. Her lips just kind of have this weird facial expression to them. Like, if I look at it from the side, it looks fine. But if I look at it straight on or like a quarter, it's almost like she's sticking her lips out. <laughs> like she's about to apply chapstick. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad face paint. It's just not that attractive, I guess, is what it comes down to. She almost looks like a, a high school principal. <laughs> she a little bit of a, a bitchy resting face. <laughs> I like the paint job they did, though. I mean, there's very little paint. Mostly it's a black buck, but the silver accents, they gave really nice rings to her forearm armor. Yeah. The articulation on her is decent enough. I mean, it's a nice upgrade from the last Valkyrie we got in terms of posability. Definitely. And I'm looking at a picture online. This is so completely different from that last version. Different outfit and everything. So, yeah, this is completely new from that one, which if you still have both of them, you can add this one and not have to worry about it. But, yeah, I mean, all in all, this isn't something I would go out of my way to add to the collection. I feel like she's just overall just kind of a blah figure in what they've done here well if rumors to be believed she may be showing up in thor 3 so maybe we'll have a whole new reason to appreciate this figure next year I, I do think her sword is unique though i don't recall seeing the sword with the dragon head base on it anywhere oh you're right they've been doing a nice job sculpting these accessories lately and this is i wish it had a little bit of a wash it still looks a little cocktail speary as far as the color yeah, especially on the handle. Yeah. Put some olives on it. It's perfectly at home. <laughs> and she comes with what? An arm for Hulkbuster? Yes, she comes with the right arm. And with the left arm is our last basic figure, Thundra. Thundracats. No? 
Thundra the Barbarian? <laughs> Pretty much Thundra the Barbarian. <laughs> I think she shops at the same store as Electra. It looks like they've kind of got similar things going on, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to give this figure right away. It's not too often we have figures that show their teeth like they're at the dentist. Oh, yeah, that's kind of strange, isn't it? Maybe she's supposed to look threatening and gnashing her teeth. When really, it looks like she's just kind of getting the plaque scraped off. <laughs> But there's teeth sculpted in there. That's pretty impressive. This is such an 80s action movie figure for a woman. It's not even funny. Or or she's a gladiator. Maybe that's it. From the American Gladiators, like her name would be like Blaze or something. I guess Thundra would be a good gladiator name. She does look like American Gladiators. Now, she's from the 70s, Fantastic Four. She's lately been hanging out with Red Hulk, but... Well, they have similar coloring, so... They don't clash? No. <laughs> But yeah, the facial expression is just a little bit odd there because it's not extreme enough to be angry. It's just kind of blasé, like gnashing her teeth like an 80s supermodel. Do I have spinach on my teeth? That's yeah, that's of... what it is. <laughs> I don't know. I think her eyebrows being kind of furled kind of sells anger or I think I think it works. It's hard to see the eyebrows underneath the big glued on hairpiece. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to move her head with that hairpiece. I don't think you're supposed to move it. I think it's just, that's what it is. Yeah, you can't move it in any direction. Up, down, left, right. <laughs> now, here's something really, really interesting about this figure, is that this is a completely new female torso. Look at her six-pack abs. I've never seen them that defined on a female figure before. Yeah, she's pretty well built and stacked. Would you say this is as big as the She-Hulk buck, though? Because it feels smaller to me. Well, I think the legs are She-Hulk and maybe even the arms and stuff like that. But this new torso seems to be a little skinnier and a little more petite, like not as broad of shoulders. But that could just be my imagination, too, because I'm holding her next to Valkyrie and it seems to be the same same size. Whereas Valkyrie is using that She-Hulk bulk where you can kind of see the belly button in there. This one has just like a six pack abs going on that. And no belly button. She actually should be showing a belly button, and it's the one figure that doesn't have one. <laughs> yeah, you lift up that belt where it should be, and nope. Oh, now she's like all kinds of creepy. Now, after all the figures, <laughs> belly buttons where they shouldn't be. They finally like, Arnie, we're going to make a buck with no belly button. Where's the belly button? <laughs> So, okay, I'm okay with a lot of this character design, considering the era it comes from. You know, you've got gold on red, which is a little, you know, gross. But <laughs> the thing that bothers me the most just visually is her orange hair next to her red outfit. It just, I don't even want to say clash. It just, it makes it all kind of just blah. It's all just kind of there. There's no contrast and it doesn't go together. It just makes it feel weird. Yeah, there's a reason why people with red hair don't wear red all the time. And I think this is it. Yeah. The problem is probably with the tone they chose for the hair. Because looking at some of the older comics, I mean, they really did a great classic comic look. But in all the comics, her hair tinged more towards blondish red. You know, very yellow on the side of orange. Whereas this is really dark on reddish orange. Yeah, and if you hold it into certain lights, you can see they tried going over it with a blonde or a yellow wash. Maybe it just didn't stick as much as they had hoped. I love the chain she comes with. The, just the way it curves and her how it has a handle that you can just wrap her fingers around. It actually poses really well. Haven't we seen one like that, though, in another? Isn't it like Wrecking Crew or something? Yeah, the Wrecking Crew had a similar one, but he had bigger ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because it looked very familiar. Yeah, but this is a yeah, this is a new piece and like Arnie said, it actually allows for posability. You can put it above her head and she still holds it with that wrecking crew thing. That thing always had to be on the ground or it was going to knock people over. But let's Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Marvelicious Toys with more collecting news and reviews at marveliciousToys.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, make mine Marvelicious.